But back to the to, to the issue about uh, the development works under your ministry, uh, with specific reference to the Kotoka International Airport. Um, recently, you you made a pledge that uh, by the end of 2012, uh, our brothers and sisters who are in Tamale, they should expect that they should they would be airlifted directly from Tamale, all things being equal, yeah. to Mecca for their Hajj. How good is that promise? Well. Uh if you look at our manifesto pledge under the transport sector, we promise to, to upgrade the Tamale Airport to an international standard. Okay. We know that we, all, we have only one international airport at the moment, and should anything happen mm. to them, maybe the control tower or mm. any other incident, Flights will have to be diverted to neighboring countries, and we think that will not be good for us. Yeah. Uh, you are aware that now we have about 32 airlines coming to Ghana. The traffic is heavy. Mm -hmm. So if you have to divert flights to other countries, it will be very inconvenient. So we've been working to upgrade the Tamale Airport to international standard. And we have some Brazilians who's, who are very much interested They've come up with their drawings and they are mobilizing funds to come and help us uh, achieve our, our goal. So I, that is why I always say that I believe by, by it will not be too long when the people from the northern sector will no longer have to travel to Accra with the inconveniences to come and house them at the airwork and all that. They can fly directly from their, their airport at Tamale back and through the the Hajj operations. So I, we are committed to it. We are working seriously on it. God willing, we will start work on it. You know, with the SADA project, yeah. uh, Tamale Airport is very, very key mm -hmm. because perishable uh, goods will have to be airlifted to other countries. And can you imagine we will have to carry all those things to Accra, the handling and all those things. It's, it's better. Cumbersome. Yeah. So we believe that once the uh, Tamale Airport is fixed, goods can be exported directly. Now there's a lot of yam which is exported from Ghana, but they have to come to Accra. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So, and we know the northern sector is, is endowed with uh, yam. Mm -hmm. So once the Tamale Airport is fixed, it will facilitate trade and it will reduce cost also. Mm -hmm. Because the transport cost between Accra and Tamale or the northern sector will have to be added to the air freight. So we believe that once that one is taking, taking the, the Tamale Airport is fixed, it will be transport, uh, airlifted directly from the Tamale Airport. So we are very, very much committed. I was there and I, I look at the infrastructure. Tamale Airport has a big land space. Yeah. So even constructing a, a runway yeah. as further as we want will not be a problem. Okay. Yeah, so okay. we, are, we are working seriously on okay. it. And since I made that statement, I've had a series of calls. And yeah, yeah, because it's, <laughs> and it's, we are, it's, we are it's committed an to it. Yeah. It's an interesting <laughs> investment. We, we, you we, want, we want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You mentioned that uh, 32 new airlines are now operating mm. from, from Ghana. Yeah. And uh, I remember about some four years ago, we had close to 15. Yeah. It moved from 15 almost twice the number. How did we get there? Well, no, Ghana has become very attractive. First of all, Ghana is a peaceful country. Everybody wants to do business where there is peace. And democratically, Ghana is very safe. So everybody wants to come down and do business here. And particularly with the oil find, Ghana has become very, very, very attractive. And I'm sure because of that, many people are traveling to Ghana. And the airlines have found it to be a business venture that they should get in. And that is how come they, they are all coming here. Since last year, we have Brussels, Air, Air Portugal. I mean, I can't name it. Many, many airlines are coming. Turkish Airlines. Uh, I can't, can't remember. Brussels. I mean, all of them are, are coming. And they are having good, a good, a good uh, business here. Mm. So the airport has become a concern because we need to do some expansion work. So as at now, the aprons, I mean, that's where the air, aircrafts are packed. Mm -hmm. There's expansion go work going on seriously. When you go to the airport near the Jubilee mm -hmm. lounge, you see that there's a work going on to expand the, the apron so that many more aircrafts can have space to, to pack. We recently completed the, a new fire service to take care of any 
uh, emergency. Okay. The, we've also added three boarding gates to the existing two. Okay, make it five. To facilitate, yeah, uh, movement of uh, passengers. Mm -hmm. We are working on the expansion of the t main terminal building. The design has been completed. This will involve the putting up of boarding gates. Mm. Uh, boarding gates, as you, you know, like uh, boarding bridges. Okay. Uh -huh, boarding bridges. Okay. The long one that you see, when, even when you go to Lagos Airport, mm. uh, you don't have to climb stairs and all that to board your aircraft. They are all included. It includes a multi-story a multi -story car park. You know, the car park we have now is, is very vast, but you have to, it's very inconvenient for you to go to the departure terminal. Mm. So we, we think that to facilitate movement of people, there's a need to, to sh reshape the airport, include a multi-story car park. Also, the, there will be a concourse linking the, the terminal building to the car park okay. so that you can easily move your goes to the departure hall. Okay. All these are being worked on and we are hopeful that once the funding is secured, mm. uh, by the second quarter of next year we should be we able should to, to start work. Yeah. We also want to put up some executive terminal. Okay. You know, these big, big people come in and we need to make some money out of them. Yeah. So we, we are putting up the executive uh, terminal that will house these uh, oil companies, they are big bosses and mm. These executives who that is, come that's to so that would be different from the it's VIP. different. Yeah, okay. this is different. This is okay. very, very different. Okay. Uh, for, for you to use that place, you have to pay. Yeah, so we are working on all this. And okay, okay. We're discussing the expansion work at the Kotoka International Airport. Uh, we're back to continue the discussion, madam. Um, the domestic terminal and then the domestic traffic. Um, I understand that we've seen some increase in the flights at the domestic terminal. How many, how many new flights have come in so far? Well, uh, you know, we used to have uh, Antrac and CityLink, mm -hmm. but now we have Starbo and Fly 540. Okay. They are also operating domestic flights, okay. and it has become very competitive, so immediately fares have, have come down as, as much as about 50%. Okay. So that is what competition brings about. Because so more people can now travel yes. by air to yeah. Kumasi, yeah. Tamale, Takradi. Yes, yes, yes. And the, the, the Starbo, the chief executive of Starbo was on a network yesterday and was promising that they want to expand their, their, their businesses. So I, I was called in to react to certain issues and I promised them that we are working on uh, uh, improving upon many of our domestic uh, airports like the Kumasi oh. uh, and the uh, Sunyani and also Takradi. Okay. Takradi, the flies, the frequency of flights is, is getting uh, encouraging and you know the, the airport belongs to the uh, armed forces mm -hmm. and we, we're just appealing to them to give us the opportunity to do a civilian uh, extension. Yeah, okay. so that it will take care of only civilians so that we will stop disrupting their activities. Okay. So the negotiation is ongoing. Once we, we get a, a clear way, we will we'll be doing that. But me, meanwhile, we are using their facilities to, to enhance the air, air traffic. Okay. The, the Sunyani yeah. Airport also, we, we, we plan to do some work on it. The Brazilians have shown interest in the Sunyani and the Kumasi airports. Uh, for a, a place like Upper East, mm. the regional minister has been asking that the West Trip should be developed into a, 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 a runway okay. so that they can also have a use of a air travel. So we, we are working on it. But you know, all this involves a lot of money. Yeah. It's capital intensive. Very. So we always encourage the private sector to come on board. Most of the time, Ghana Airport Company is able to secure f a, a loan and they are able to pay back. But it's gotten to a point that they cannot go beyond a certain limit mm. because they will be overstretched. So okay. there's a need for others to come on board and, and assist because okay. the airline industry has become very, very attractive. Before I, uh, you know, I, when we're talking about the Kotoka International Airport, there's going to be an airport uh, airport business area okay. 
where we have like uh, business centers, mm -hmm. hotels, uh, eatery. I mean, many, many more mm. things that you see when, when you, you get to like a uh, Heathrow Airport. Yeah. So that when our people come, when they are at the airport, they feel comfortable, enjoy themselves, and leave some of their money in our economy. Okay, yeah. more like a uh, more like a city within yes, the airport. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. what we're doing. But with these domestic uh, 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 companies in the aviation industry now, are they all indigenous? Companies or some of them are foreigners who have invested in. in, in I the want to believe sector. they are all Ghanaians because, okay. for example, the Antrac is owned by a Ghanaian. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alaji Asuma Banda. Yeah. CityLink, I think, is a Ghanaian owned. Mm -hmm. Fly 40 and uh, Stabo, I believe they, 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 they are also Ghanaians. Okay. I, I'm not very sure about okay. these two, okay. but I believe. Yeah, but they are registered in Ghana, okay. so uh, it's, it's good for us. It mm. creates jobs for our people. Yes, yes, that is very, very yeah. important, yeah. especially for for those young young yeah. men and young women yeah. that are involved yeah. in the in the aviation aviation sector. Then uh, you mentioned that the cost of air travels have also reduced. D uh, these companies do they only deal in passenger or they move goods as well? Uh, I am not too sure about that. Okay. Uh, when we went recently, it was only our... Yeah, the passengers. Our, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. But even the Stabo, they are thinking of uh, going into the West African sub region. Mm -hmm. You know, it's difficult to commute between one African country and the yes, other yes, than yes. going to Europe. Yeah, so yeah. they are looking at that to facilitate a movement between our neighboring countries. Okay. At times when you, are, you have to travel to maybe a place like uh, Cameroon, you may have to go through Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if he's able to take up that uh, responsibility, mm -hmm. it will help us a lot. Mm. I remember one time uh, we, we were to travel to Equatorial Guinea, <laughs> and we have to make transit <laughs> to about three African yeah, countries before we go it. to yeah. to Equatorial Guinea. Yeah, and yeah. the journey of about two and a half hours yeah. has to take almost half of the day yes, before. It happens. So we hope that when these things come on, on stream, uh, to, to help uh, save some of the situation. Mm -hmm. But let's come back to the... Today. We have Post another Ghanaian registered uh, airline, uh, okay. African we World Airlines. They have not started operations yet? They are working seriously to start in the near future, okay. but it's also a Ghanaian registered uh, company. What's the name again? African World Airlines. Oh, okay, African uh, World yeah, Airlines. Yeah, being promoted by Togbu Yapede. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. uh, 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 a traditional uh, area. Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah. 